Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 131 on the idea of center of gravity and center of mass. Now, there is a slight technical distinction between these two ideas. However, for this particular course, we're going to treat these two terms as synonymous. So what is a center of mass? Center of mass is an idea with multiple facets that are all related. The center of mass is the weight mass weighted average location of an object. Furthermore, the center of mass is the point at which gravity acts. When we get into our discussion of torque, we're going to be interested in the location at which each force is applied, which means we're going to need to figure out where the force of gravity acts. The force of gravity acts at the center of mass. So the first part of the definition of center of mass is a mass weighted average location of an object. Now, this is a lot going on. So let's think about what a weighted average is first, in a context with which you are probably more familiar with the idea. Think about your grades. Not each assignment in a given course counts the same. For example, in this class, the weights for the different assignments are provided in the black table on the left. Now, if you got the grades in the blue table on the right, what would your final grade be in this particular course? To calculate a weighted average, what you do is you take the value, in this case for a category, and you multiply it by a weight. And the weight is the worth out of the total. And you add up all these different contributions. And we know the symbol for adding up a bunch of stuff is this Greek letter symbol. Let's work this through for this particular example. So in this particular example, this hypothetical student achieved a 95, so that would be the value, on the online homework. And the online homework is worth 10 out of a total of 100. So I've done the value of 95. It's worth 10 out of a total of 100. And now I just repeat this for all the different categories. This hypothetical student achieved a 75 on the IRATs, which are worth 9 out of 100. On exam 1, our student achieved a 70, and exam 1 is worth 14 out of the total 100 for the course. Our hypothetical student did the same on the other two exams, so I'm going to repeat this two more times. And now we move on to the team side. On the team side, our student achieved a 90 on the in-class activities. So we add 90 to our in-class activities, which are worth 18 of the total 100. On the T-RATs, our hypothetical student achieved a 95. T-RATs are also worth 9 out of 100. And on the first team exam, our hypothetical student achieved an 85, and team exam one is worth four of the 100. And similarly for the other two team exams. Now, if you compute this calculation, you get an 81.05, which if you go and look at the syllabus, is a B plus. This is a weighted average of scores for the course. Center of mass is similarly a weighted average only we're using mass to weight our average, and we're averaging position. 
So let's look at this particular example of a five kilogram object and a two kilogram object. And let's calculate the center of mass for these two objects. The first step is to establish a coordinate system. When we're talking about positions, I need a coordinate system. So I am going to establish the positive x direction to be that way. Now I can go and calculate the mass weighted average. I start with the five kilogram object. So the x location of the center of mass, I take my value, which is zero meters because I'm interested in finding the average position. And then I multiply it by the weight, which in this case is five kilograms divided by my total, which is five kilograms plus two kilograms. I then move on to my two kilogram object. My value is two meters because that's the location of the object. And then my weight is two kilograms divided by the total, which is again, five kilograms plus two kilograms. Because of this zero, this whole quantity goes to zero, it's multiplication, leaving me with a center of mass of two meters multiplied by two kilograms over seven kilograms. You can see that the unit kilogram will cancel, leaving me with two meters times two over seven, now unitless, being equal to the center of mass, leaving me with a center of mass of four over seven meters. Again, the center of mass is an average position weighted by mass, and so my units should be a unit of position, meters, which is what I get. If I plug this into a calculator, we can see that I get a numerical value of 0 0.57 meters, which means that the center of mass is somewhere here-ish, much closer to the five kilogram object than to the two kilogram 